Hello, I'm back. Um, I had a lot of fun with these questions. This is, this is really fun for me. Keep the questions coming. Anything that you want to know about, I'm going to try to get it quick two minute answer for it and I would tell you too if anyone has questions that they see here you know reaching out to us uh, we're always glad to provide any insider service if I've got time you know I don't mind taking five ten minutes to have a quick conversation with you if you're thinking about something for your home so that being said Megan I know you've got probably a really good question for me today yes yeah, so this is from an Instagram DM that we received they said how can you tell if a wall is load-bearing I want to make my kitchen more open concept but I'm worried that during the project we'll find out the wall is load-bearing and it'll be an extra cost we didn't expect um, <laughs> yeah this sounds like an HGTV question the the, the load-bearing wall like it's this well first of all the short answer is that every wall is a load-bearing wall because they're carrying something or another. That said, um, there's some are more significant than others. So generally when people talk about load-bearing wall, they mean is it really holding up the second floor or is it holding up the roof? Uh, that's the big thing that we're trying to figure out. So how can you figure it out? Well, Boy, there's a lot of ways that you can figure it out. The easiest way is to just go down into your basement. If you go down to your basement and you can see, generally, pretty much every basement that we're working in has some sort of steel beam that's running through it. And if you figure that the wall that you want to remove is sitting on top of that steel beam, yep, it's probably load bearing. Now, that said, removing load bearing walls is not nearly as hard as these shows tell you it has to be. There are very few situations where we can't get rid of a load-bearing wall. Um, now, there's going to be things that might have to change with the design. There might need to be what we call a header, which is a drop where we have a structural piece up above it that's going to hold um, the second floor, the roof, whatever it is, up. But you can definitely get rid of it. It just needs to be factored into design. I would tell you that any good contractor, like any reasonable design person, should be able to tell you with very good certainty whether something's load-bearing kind of within like five minutes of looking at it. It's not that complicated. I think at a lot of these shows sell it as like this is big unknown and it's this big scary thing, but it really isn't. It just needs to be figured out and then we need to design around it. So um, you should know that before your project starts. You should never have to redesign these things in the middle of it like they show on these, on these HG TV shows. Um, that just makes for good television, makes for good drama, but it's not the reality of it. So don't worry about it. Uh, hire a contractor, hire a good designer. They're going to come in. They're going to help you figure that out before your project starts. That was an easy question. Thanks, okay. Megan. Of course.